Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Still tracking some snow showers working their way through the area. And we're likely going to be seeing this for a few more hours. Then things should calm down a little bit. Let's take a look at what's going on. You can see we've got uh, Rhode Island pretty much is dry right now. There might be a couple of flurries here and there. But in general, we are looking at uh, dry conditions. We're still continuing to monitor this area of uh, snow down along the coastline of Connecticut, about to move into uh, Groton and New London. And we're also noticing some uh, showers beginning to pop pop up out here across central Connecticut, some snow showers, and we'll likely be seeing a few more snow showers across the rest of the area, very light throughout the rest of uh, the afternoon hours, probably till about three, four o'clock or so. Then we should begin to really dry out temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, 29 in Coventry, 28 Charlestown, Newport, New Bedford, around 28 degrees. Our live city cam picture, we've got sunshine. We've got a big clumpy cloud in there as well with some of the snow showers well off to our south. Uh, temperature in Cumberland right now at 29 degrees with a wind from the west at about three miles an hour. Now look at the satellite radar picture, the close up version. You can see we have the thicker clouds moving away. We've got some sunshine here across a good portion of Rhode Island right now. In fact, as we take a look at the University of Rhode Island quad cam, lots of clouds and then came in the blue skies, beautiful blue skies. But we are going to be seeing some clouds move in from time to time. And with those clouds, we're likely going to be seeing some of these snow showers work their way through the area. But the rest of the afternoon looks a lot brighter than what we had this morning. Let's track everything with our future cast. I'll actually take you into tomorrow, which will feature another round of snow showers. Here we are at three o'clock this afternoon with a few uh, little blue blobs, which of course indicate the chance for a few snow showers, maybe a brief snow squall with a, some gusty winds with it and then uh, by evening they're gone. We're looking at dry conditions dry this evening with mainly clear skies. The difference tomorrow is I think we're going to be waking up with lots of sunshine. That'll be nice, but then the clouds move back in as another little piece of energy spins through New England. It'll scare up a few snow showers in the afternoon and evening and then we'll be drying out, but it gets a lot colder for Friday. I'll show you that in just a second at the bus stop this afternoon about 29 degrees chance of a snow shower three or four o'clock. Then after that, it should be drying out, but the winds will be picking up a little bit from the west 10 to 15 miles an hour. So we'll have 29 degrees on the east side feeling like 15 to like 22 degrees in the afternoon. 29 in Cranston, 29 degrees in Warwick, Barrington around 29. Coastal communities say from uh, westerly to Charlestown, Narragansett and Newport. Keep in mind we're tracking that snow shower that's going to be working its way right along the coastline and you could be picking up a quick coating over the next several hours. Up in northern Rhode Island, a lighter snow showers up here and then clearing late afternoon. 27 in Boroughville, 29 in Johnston, southeastern Massachusetts temperature should be topping out in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees with the threat of a snow shower until about four o'clock or so. Now tomorrow we do it again, looking at the chance of a quick uh, round of snow showers, generally less than an inch of accumulation, much like today. Then it gets colder for Friday. And again, the coldest of this stretch will be on Friday. And we're still monitoring that storm system for Monday, Sunday night and Monday. It's extremely track dependent, but for now it looks like there will be a lot of snow involved maybe a little mixing toward the south coast, but it looks like a uh, cold storm with lots of wintry type of precipitation. Then we clear out for Tuesday. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast on your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com from any computer, smartphone or tablet. So we are looking at a few more snow showers today, tomorrow, and the cold sticks around even colder on Friday. All right. Thank you, TJ. Here's